Welcome to the freaking Demon Slayer cast here on the Spice Boys channel. Yeah, but we you know, you are... don't got all the Spice yeah. Boys here today because only the two true Spice Boys, the one the men of culture are here today. Um the only ones that actually have time or make the time to read manga. Oh, there was a uh, staple stuck in my sock. So that's fun. All right. Uh yeah. Yeah, we're the manga reading men. We're the and, men of culture. Uh, <laughs> Our uh, proud Japanese culture, of course. Indeed, gotta crack my mouth and, real quick, uh, boys. <laughs> mm, there we go. Epic, epic. Um, so right. yeah, we're big fans of Demon Slayer for sure. And uh, uh, Harrison recently got caught up on the manga. Oh yeah, I read the entire manga in the... like four days. But you know, here we go. Yeah, word, word. That's how you go with manga, though. I feel like you can really slam through it. I read like all of. Uh, one piece up until current in like a month holy and cow that's got like 900 something chapters so you know impressive if, if you've got if you're if you're into it if you got the if you got the um will if you got the will and the time uh, yeah and you'll get there. no social life you'll get there exactly well i just do it during class so you know, there's, there's the if it's the right class that's what i was doing too but if it's the wrong class you're gonna get way screwed there's no wrong classes uh, calculus for kidding. me anywho about okay oh yeah chapter 179 no, feelings enough. for elder brother feelings for younger brother here we go very cool all right so what so, did you what did you think of this chapter overall very this chapter you know okay so like it's not great that we had to start on this chapter because this is one that is directly after a very climactic chapter this one comes in 178 uh was the chapter where they defeated upper moon one who well, used the moon it was breed. part of and upper we'll, moon uh, one's defeat but also it was a lot yeah. of upper moon one's backstory yeah 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 but those are all kind of integral when it comes to the upper moons they uh tend to the way the the manga seems to be written is often like right near the end of the guy's defeat they'll have a whole flashback on like why they became it a seems demon almost and everything. all demons do that or most moons yeah i mean the moons are like the only ones that they bothered writing a story with i mean like why would he write a story for every single little tiny demon we see exactly backstory wise but yeah anyway but he, basically uh, any of the final boss demons have had that yeah happen. Upper Moon 3 is best boy. But anyhow, to get back to chapter 179, uh, we kind of see the consequences, um, negative consequences on uh, the Demon Slayer's part of fighting Upper Moon 1. Absolutely. With, uh, in the first first two pages of it, um, um, uh, he has to stop the Wind Pillar. The Rock Pillar uh, is he. Shina Zugawa from attacking because he's just totally past like he's he's gone past thinking and it's just completely instinctually fighting at this point even though upper moon one is gone like he's um, he's passed out but his body is still going yeah 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 yeah. which is you know it's kind of an anime trope but one that i enjoy it's very cool. yeah um it's interesting that even though he is still knocked out he still does have the mark on his cheek um yes um, it's interesting that it seems as though uh, the Rock Pillar took almost no damage during that fight. Yeah, the Rock Pillar's kind of a beast. He yeah. manifested the mark, which his was cool because it was kind of like the like weird, like crackly kind yeah, of Yeah, it was on mark. his arms. And yeah. it's still there if we look closely. Well, he had it on his face for a second. It was like moving around, it seemed. Really? Maybe I'm just I thought it was only it. on his arms. Maybe I'm tripping. I could be tripping. Yeah. But it seems I think like it is mostly on his own. Besides arms. the slash across Rock Pillar's face, he did not seem to take yeah. much physical damage. He might have lost true, a lot true. of stamina, and we don't know how he's feeling inside. But physically, uh, from the outside, he seems the least um, true. affected. Uh, he, he, he's definitely the strongest pillar as well. Um, and also, he uses long ranged attacks um, in in contrast to like most of the pillars and he's also fairly durable like he's one of the biggest yeah, pillars true. however i think he's love also... pillar might be up there with durability though just given her true ability true. um yeah but yeah but yeah so and i mean it makes sense that wind pillar took damage because like part of what makes him strong is his blood is like intoxicating for yeah it's uh, demons, i can't remember the term for it but yeah i was 
it would make sense why Nezuko had such a hard time resisting it back. I don't remember uh, the exact chapter. Almost at the beginning. It's yeah. In the anime, so it's it in the anime. Ago. It's close to the end of the <laughs> anime. But yeah, it's when they're trying to prove to the Hish- the Hashira or the Pillars that um, Nezuko is safe to be around them and that she doesn't eat humans. And so he cuts himself and spills the blood on her little mm. box. And she has a very hard time resisting. And that actually mm. makes more sense of why that is. That does make more sense because it's more tempting blood than normal. Which actually makes it more cool that she's able to resist it. And that's probably why the wind... That's probably why even... I'm sure they knew that was the, an ability of the wind pillar. And that's probably more legitimacy. They maybe didn't talk about it then. Um, anyway, enough of... Yeah, so we pretty much... That's All the right, beginning. chapter... Pages four and five now. <laughs> uh, we see... Uh, uh, yeah, Genya, our, our boy, the man who eats demons. Uh, he's like chopped in half. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Yeah, he's literally sliced in half i don't know where the other half of his body is gone but uh yeah he's just worried about his brother uh yeah um it's very sad and uh the rock pillar um which was very kind of him he takes takes the wind pillar and places him next to genya and so that uh, genya can see his brother that he's still alive yes and uh which is good genya was kind of a kind of a bad a in the last chapter he uh yeah very much so very much so uh and it's kind of sad to see his character go yeah i was i was really hoping to see some more aspects of his ability because we didn't see it a whole ton i think we only saw it Mm -hmm. twice we saw it once when they were fighting moons four and five and then we saw it when just now so we haven't really seen a whole ton of his ability well and it was also fascinating because while he did get some of them like uh upper moon one's abilities it also seems like he still had those like kind of tree-like powers that he had from four and five yeah yeah which is fascinating True. he was able to use the blood demon arts from former demons it seems mm-hmm, like he's ingested mm-hmm. very intriguing yes but anyway yeah. uh so it is unfortunate he's gone how is he, had he probably the most unique ability couldn't he, he regenerated from being cut in half the other way why is it laterally that is fatal oh because it ran out his like demonness ran out. I think, like okay, yeah, yeah. His regeneration, like I, he was saying that in the last chapter. He's like, I'm not regenerating anymore, or something like that. It seems like he doesn't have like he's not like a full demon now. He's just like every time he eats part of a demon, he becomes more demonic, and then has like the powers of a demon for a little bit, and then yeah, and then that wears off, and so I think that's what's happening. All right, and then we get to see a uh, taquito here. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's literally his name. <laughs> so uh, uh, Takito, he uh, he's he got sliced in half horizontally, which we saw again. You just brute force oh, that in the last chapter. Takito oh yeah, did? yeah, hundred percent. I'm looking at this panel though, and he doesn't look like he's in half. because he's oh he's under- horizontally. Oh, yeah, horizontally. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said vertically for a second. No, I, I okay. he was sliced in half horizontally during the fight mm-hmm. with Upper Moon One. Um, but still brute yeah. force through it and was able to keep plunging his sword deeper into Upper Moon 1. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that, that sapped most of his strength. I mean, he is 14, um, mm-hmm. which is extremely... But yeah, he was one of the... He's the youngest He was one of the pillar. first pillars to manifest a mark. Yes. Two. Yes, Him, that's correct. It was like... Uh, it, was he before the Love Pillar? I, I don't think remember. they were about the same time. They were during the same yeah. arc. Yeah. It was during the same arc. Mm-hmm. I think he might have manifested it first, which is pretty impressive. So, Takedo... He is a descendant of up, uh, Upper Moon 1. Which correct, which means he... Which we'll We'll, we'll, we'll talk more. about it a little bit later. Um, <laughs> we'll <get laughs> we can talk whole, about that a little bit. We'll get into the whole thing, but yeah. yeah. So, it's interesting. <laughs> so, it looks like Rock Pillar's kind of telling him that he can lay there to rest, and that only thanks to him they were able to win, which I think it took all of them. I don't think with... If they were missing a single member, they mm-hmm. could have beat him. Um, Word. And, and we see again in this panel, the mark is on the Rock Pillar's arm. So I think I am just straight up wrong that I saw it on his face. I think that was just me hallucinating as I was reading manga at the speed of light. Anyway, yeah. So then we see but, uh, yeah. uh, Takedo, uh see his brother who had died before um once again yeah i was lightning speeding through that part when they were talking about his backstory (laughs) so i don't remember the exact details i know they were living on their own Um, 
and well, his brother, his brother uh, died at age eleven. Is, is what we kind of right. learn here. Yeah, and uh, he basically is sad that uh, Tokido died because like he wanted him to keep on living for him, and he was like, "You died for nothing." Blah 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 blah. And then like Tokido's like, "I think my death was good. I died helping my comrades. Uh, like I found happiness with them, even though I." Could wasn't happy anymore for a while because my whole family was dead and, and stuff. You see, Takeda's kind of so... distraught that his brother doesn't uh, praise him. Like, he's just outright, like, basically his brother yeah. is the same person he was before. If you remember back to their backstory, his brother was very um, <laughs> not quite hostile. <laughs> he was very hostile towards, because mm. um, basically they were, their parents had died. They were wood choppers. And uh, mm. who's the main, Similarly like the leader, to... the leader of the demon hunters, his wife came to them and said, hey, you guys are descendants of great swordsmen. We want you mm. to come to the demon slayers and train. And basically mm-hmm. Takeda was like, that sounds kind of cool. And his brother was like, heck no, and literally chased her away <laughs> like several times. So he was extremely hostile um, mm. for that. Yeah. So I guess it kind of makes sense he's acting this way, but yeah, um, it's good that like you, uh, Takedo stands up for himself and is like, mm-hmm. no, I think I I lived a good life. I I don't regret what happened. Um, Let's see. Anything but, else? Yeah, to that's know. pretty much what that happens. He sees flashbacks and then, about being happy. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, we've covered that, and then. Uh, Wind Pillar wakes up. I forget his name constantly. I just think of him as the Wind Pillar. Same. And uh, he's like, oh, no, my brother's dying. And uh, his his brother, Genya, is crumbling like a demon um, because at this point he's he's ingested part of Upper Moon, what was it, 5 or something? And then also he's up, ingested, like, quite a bit of Upper Moon 1. So, you know, he became very demonic near the end and everything. And then, you know, it's worn off, so he's dying. But uh, they have this very touching moment where, when... like, yeah because like the wind pillar's whole arc is like he just wants to protect his brother like he didn't want his brother to join the demon slayers he wanted him to just have a family have a normal family Mm -hmm. uh and he wanted to fight so that he didn't have to um and so he was always just trying to protect him even though he was like very like kind of brash towards his brother and stuff very much Um, so and even uh genya even acknowledges this and he says oh i'm sorry for troubling always troubling you um mm -hmm. He's sorry for criticizing him. And the Wind Pillar, yeah. I think, is feeling really bad about their relationship at this point. Yeah. Um, as you can tell, that I feel like he doesn't feel like he's truly had a connection with his brother. Word. And as you can probably, like, he just is very distraught about this. Yeah. But Genya's yeah, it's, taken it's, this, this is, like a This chance. is so sad. It's It's very <laughs> sad. Um, yeah, uh, they could have been great friends. They were just, I feel like they could have been friends. They seem very I like-minded know. in their way. Like, Genya and the Wind Pillar are very straightforward in their way of thinking and very mm-hmm. aggressive, both of them. I, I don't know mm-hmm. why they were so aggroed against each other. I think it was <laughs> mainly because of their upbringing, but I think... I think it was a lot of, like, the Wind Pillar was just super mad that, like, Genya even joined the Demon Slayers and was so so he was just kind of giving them the cold shoulder to try to like yeah make him like regret that like try and like force his brother to like regret that or something mm-hmm. you know um yeah yeah but but in the end in that final battle he's like f f in chat boys and then one and then Genya dies telling the Wind Pillar how great he is even though I'm sure the Wind Pillar doesn't feel that way he doesn't feel like he's earned that. Because yeah. of how rude, like literally at one well, point. Well, I mean, he he joined the he joined the demon slayers to protect his brother, and so his brother's like dying, and he's like, "You're you're great," and he's like, "Well, dude, I I'm failing my whole purpose right now." Yeah, and it, it's interesting because literally Genya was earlier um, during the training montage. Genya was taken away from the wind pillar and said never to be near them because Genya and the wind pillar were having mm-hmm, a fight, and Tanjiro mm-hmm. intervened. Um. Mm-hmm. during that and so they were both told to stay away from the wind pillar yeah and we see the oh i don't remember where this was at it wasn't in this chapter but we saw like 
in a previous chapter when like we were f reflecting on these guys because this isn't the like only time we've reflected on there like we had their whole backstory in the same uh fight mm -hmm. earlier but like we we see like right after they were separated be like when tanjiro had like intervened and everything uh we see genya in a room and he says my brother is the nicest person like or whatever can you, so like okay, can you cut out that, a little like, bit could you say that one more time yeah sorry um we see like in their backstory like after they had been separated tanjiro mm -hmm. and genya from the wind pillar that like genya says like my brother is like the kindest person whatever like so like yeah. i think they understand that, like 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 no one like they don't say anything to anyone about like their relationship like the wind pillar and genya like they never explain to anyone else mm. what their relationship is like right but they both understand that they're trying to protect each other mm. and so that's kind of interesting and and that kind of tells us that like they had known that the whole time it wasn't just during this fight okay and then genya's body finally deteriorates completely um mm -hmm. to wind pillar's dismay and yeah. uh Basically, the rock pillar's like, all right, let's go. It's time to fight. It's on. on time. Um, that's the whole chapter. That's the whole chapter. Um, that's the whole something I just noticed. The marks, because we get to see three marks in this chapter, and I'm just looking over them. I think they correspond to your breath, I believe. Oh, yeah, of course. I think that's pretty clear. Uh, isn't um, the love pillars literally a heart? Oh, I don't recall, actually. But, yeah, like... The wind pillars is like a windmill kind of thing. The mist Taquitos pillar has this little cloud. Mid, like a cloud. Yeah. Rock pillar has like the like cracks. fractury yeah. cracks and stuff. So yeah, it does seem to correspond with breath. And then like all the like breath of the sun users have like the flamey kind of thing. Yeah, and we never we head. I remember Giyu getting his mark. I don't remember what it exactly looked like. Um, I don't. That was during either. the fight with three. Um, but anyway, let's let's go back and talk about uh, Moon One, yeah. So okay, yeah, Giyu's mark is like on his cheek, and it's like a bubbly, black kind of. Okay, kind of like well, they're all black pretty much, but yeah. Here, yeah, I'll, I'll show. I'll or show we don't have color image. yet, but here comes the image. You're sending it to Discord. All right. But yeah, it's definitely related to water. Yep, it's on Discord. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely like related to water. So yeah, the marks are definitely related to breath. I think that's always been clear um, from what we've seen. But anyway, going back to Upper Moon One. So okay, so like I getting up to the Upper Moon One fight, I had always theorized that Tanjiro mm -hmm. was a descendant, a descendant I of the breath that of too. the sun user, and I still think and that's the case. Yes, I do now. But, like, the problem was is I, I thought Upper Moon 1 was that, like, legendary uh, sun user who had almost defeated Muzan or whatever. And then Muzan had beaten him and made him a pillar. Now, But we actually find out through Upper One's backstory that that's not true at all. It's not. And it also clarifies with um, Takedo's family, who was, like, us, like, th like thought to be descendants of the sun pillar and like that clears up how like tanjiro is a descendant of the sun pillar and they're technically not they technically well they still are related but not as directly they're as related tanjiro. but they're but they're actually so getting to upper moon one he is the brother twin brother of the sun pillar or, yeah and he was he was well, like i don't think he was a pillar, pillar at that point well, I mean, he was a strong. He was as the a sun pillar. breath user, the original sun breath user. Yeah, and the original sun breath he, user, and then his sounds, brother was a moon breath mm -hmm. user. It sounded like who literally, is the the upper moon one? Exactly, and it sounds like um, the sun. The original sun breath user literally invented all forms of the breaths. Well, they were all derivatives. Like, I don't think he invented them, but, like, people no, strived right. to learn the breath. Well, he had and, like, pupils, and so he literally adapted the breaths to teach them one that would fit their style. Oh, maybe that's the case. Like, it talked I, about I that. had The way I had interpreted it is that he taught them how to breathe, and then, like, through that, like, how to do just, like, basic breathing and stuff, and through that they developed their own breaths. Possibly, I didn't. I I thought I it was him, it kind of as he tweaking them it. their own respective breaths. I think he tweaked it. That's what I thought he said. I can go back and look. 
Uh, once the again, I read I that, that today, but we can... Is because the Moon moon user, Upper Moon 1, mm-hmm. uh, he had always tried to, like, be able to use the Sun Breath, but he was never able now, to. it's interesting. And in that striving, he made the Moon Breath. But that was the closest he could ever get. It's interesting that his mark is almost the exact same. Yeah. He even so it might be more of a descendancy thing? It could be. Um, but it's also weird that, like, okay, so, like, his mark is the same, but then his descendant's mark is dependent on their breath. So, like, Takedo is his descendant, but doesn't have the sun breath mark. He has the... Mist. Mist mark, which, you know, is well, obviously didn't a different they say breath. that Mist is one of the closest ones to sun breath? Yeah. Which makes sense, because he's a descendant of, of the, the twin to the sun of breath. The moon breath. Yeah, which is the closest, closest to sun breath, but not being sun breath. There were so many forms of moon breath, by the way. I know. It goes into, like, crazy. freaking 16th. I'm like... Yeah, yeah 16 <laughs> was the highest number I remember. <laughs> that was so, such a cool fight. It was I very mean, epic. Um, yeah, it was cool. It was <laughs> There's not, cool. like, a lot to, like, just say, like, like, oh, I liked when he did this thing. Yeah, it I mean, was just... Kind of a waste. Yeah. But, like, oh, it was such a cool fight. And then, like, to learn all the, like backstory and we learn more about this um epic sun user like uh this this guy who almost defeated muzan and we find out and he would have killed that, upper like, moon one he he could have he almost killed muzan too like upper like muzan lost to him and i guess ran away before he could finish him off also literally yeah muzan and then also so, like sun was literally that over upper moon one Literally was in the prime of his life as a demon, fighting eighty-two mm-hmm. year old Breath of the Sun, and literally said, "On his deathbed, if I would have gotten hit one more time, I would have died." Yeah, and he died but right he before died he striked. Right before he struck the second time. So yeah, Sun Breath user is just confirmed to be this like absolute Chad, this absolute <laughs> Chad of Breath. He's a unit. <laughs> He's a, just such a unit, and. uh so I think Tanjiro is the his descendant, mm-hmm. and I mean while he's not as he's not developing quite as rapidly as a Sun Breath user, who like at the age of seven could already see the invisible world, which is like this new technique that like Rock Breath Rock user just learned, and well, uh, uh, Tanjiro so did, just learned. So did the Mist? No, Mist Pillar used it too. And uh, Demon Three used it. Upper three. Upper three used it too. Yeah. And, and I'm guessing Upper and One also. Tantra's father also used, used it. it as well against that yes. bear, which was epic. But it's <laughs> interesting that, like, so, like, Tandro didn't learn it till now, whereas Sunbreath user is still confirmed more OP because he learned it, he, like, just naturally did it at well, like, seven years old. Yeah, he was also he, doing breathing at seven years he old. He picked up his sword like, and before beat the crap out of ever this guy. Of it. He invented breathing. Yes. Yeah, he invented breathing at seven freaking years old. It's insane. So he's just the most. Well, he was OP born man with the time. mark. It's true. It's true. So that's kind of interesting. And right, the mark spreads to people around the person with the mark. Correct. Yes. Well, through training, yeah. But like they have to be practicing breaths. But yes. But they like if Tondra was not there practicing with them, they could not manifest marks. Correct. Theoretically, yeah. Oh, that is definitely like maybe they could have. Well, because I mean, it says, I don't know like, if it's confirmed. That it's like literally spread. impossible. It said like the mark spread from the person with it. Yeah, probably. I would guess so because he's the sun breath descendant in my theory, and so they're spreading from Tanjiro to the other users. Well, Tanjiro doesn't. Tanjiro for the longest time didn't realize that that was like a mark that he had on his head. Oh yeah, and it's interesting. Well, no one really understood that, that. and then and then head of the demon slayers was like, "Yo, uh, this is a thing, bro." Yeah, he, he thought it was just part of his scar that evolved. Yeah. Now, it's interesting. But then he, like, noticed that he gained more power when that yeah. he, like, and if you also him. notice, when he, like, goes into the marked mode, his scar changes. It's not quite the sun scar mm-hmm. normally. Well, yeah, because it's kind of like, it's like a weird scabby-looking yeah. jaggy thing. Yeah. When he's not in the mode, and then when he, like, actually goes full-on thing, it's, like, the flames and stuff. Yeah, which is on, interesting. Up, on the, on the, all the... Uh, sun breath guy and upper moon one which is why i thought upper moon one was like a descent like was a relative of tanjiro's like 
the Sun Breath user was because he had that same Exactly, mark. yeah. That was my uh, thinking as well. And also, um, it's interesting that demons can still use breaths. I mean, it makes sense about that they could, yeah. but I'm surprised that well, more it, of them it, didn't. It kind of leads to it being like, yo, that's actually like so OP though. So like, it kind of leads to like, why doesn't Muzan teach all the demons breath? Muzan doesn't because, know like, breaths. Because it seems like only, like, maybe Upper Moon 2. It seemed like Upper Moon 2 had some kind of breaths, maybe. Not really. It was just Blood Demon Arms. Yeah. And then Upper Moon 1 did use breaths. But also, what was interesting is uh, uh, Upper Moon 1 didn't really seem to use very many, like, blood techniques. Except for, like, shooting blades out of himself. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's and just same, his that's blood same with the, uh, But that's, like, way less complicated than Upper Moon 2's That's also with New Upper techniques. Moon 5. New Upper Moon 5, which was Zenetsu's training companion, oh, also yeah, used breaths. But he never used a blood demon art. Wasn't he Upper Moon 6? Was he 6? He, he was one of them. Yeah, I don't he was remember. the newest. He was the lowest ranked Upper Moon. And Zenitsu's like, you're gay. And then does <laughs> Breath of the Lightning 7. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. That was, a, so... that was also one of my highlights from this anim- uh, manga. It was so dope. <laughs> when Zenitsu is just like, uh, lame. <laughs> Makes up the 7th form. He's like, what? There's no seven, yeah. and he's like, "There is now." <laughs> yeah, he's like thunder god breath, like. Bam. It was so it's interesting because there's not a thunder pillar. Well, yeah, because well, the previous thunder pillar was their trainer, and he left. I mean, lightning. It's lightning, but yeah, yeah. the lightning. Well, he he like retired, and then took on disciples, which was, Z- which was Zenitsu uh, and that guy, Upper Moon Six and Zenitsu, and so, uh, there was Zenitsu only. Learned Breath 1, and the other guy learned everything but Breath 1, which is pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty epic. Also, it's interesting <laughs> that um, I don't think – like, I don't think – the pillars work differently than I think I originally thought. I thought that, like, the top of each Breath, like, school kind of became yeah, a pillar. Yeah, it's just the strongest guys. It's just the strongest guys. Basically, and it just tends to be that, like – one like they each have their own unique breath because breaths are pretty right like it's really uncommon for there to be yeah. a lot of people with the same breath like pretty much most people have different breaths but from each also other. like dude upper moon too though that battle was intense i really enjoyed that yeah one. well it was really interesting it's very different from a lot of the battles we've seen because like a lot of the upper moon battles have kind of devolved to like like trying to like out swordmen your guys so like we saw that with upper moon three and with upper moon one it was both just like a battle of power you know and i mean there's a lot of strategy you and know get, there's so yeah, many different and it's guys like, get more upper moon people kind of and yeah yeah but like upper moon two was very fascinating because it was all about like insect pillar trying to get it so he would absorb her body to take in all that Poison. um Wisteria, now, Flower Point, I thought that poison. was very interesting. I think if that would have not been the case... That was fascinating. That was fascinating. I was not expecting that um, mm-hmm. at all. Now, oh, yeah. It totally came out It of threw me off me. guard. When he like started just peeling over, I'm like, hold up. <laughs> and it kind of explains like how someone like Inosuke, who is like, way less powerful than Tanjiro at this point, like pretty much confirmed, could be Upper Moon 2. You know? What do you mean? I mean, like, Inosuke is, like, definitely not quite as powerful as Tanjo. Right. And, like, for him to, like, basically by himself... Like, Tanjo had the help of Gyu yes. for Upper Moon 3. Upper Moon then, 3 like, was insane. Two little babies freaking kill Upper Moon 2. It wouldn't but make they sense. But they had the pillars help, too. So it makes sense that the pillar, like, had done that. And she'd come, Otherwise, she had this been, strategy. Like, These guys are literally She fetched. had this strategy going for Especially a long time. Especially once he popped out those, like, ice minion guys. Yeah, and she had that strategy for, like, a year. She had been yeah, analyzing exactly. and, like, injecting herself with the poison. Yeah. How did, how did you... How did you? F- okay, we're just, like, going through all the chapters <laughs> right now. <laughs> all right. How did you feel about, um, like, Boarhead, uh, Inosuke... Uh, his backstory being tied into Upper Moon 2, even though um, Upper Moon 2 had already been tied into the insect people's backstories, like, it was kind of weird. Like, I thought it was kind of, like, I mean, we can tell it, like, it seems like it was planned, 
because he recognized the insect pillar and was like, that's kind of familiar because he like recognizes his like, I guess like the fact that she also right like had a connection um, to the upper moon too or whatever. But I I felt like it was kind of weird. It I don't feel like, like it was out of nowhere. needed. Yeah, but it, also it, it was kind of it kind of brings like it worked. I think, and I thought it made sense, but it was just kind of now. I don't know. I thought it was they weird. might be leading into uh because here's the thing that i've noticed right now because i didn't there think has it was necessary. not been downtime in the show for a, like not the show in the manga for a while um <laughs> that's kind of been true for like the whole manga no because there were i mean the okay. only downtimes are like the training sequences exactly there's and like the recovery but, that, sequences too i mean like after they fought a uh, lower moon five and they were recovering at the butterfly house there was downtime yeah. they chatted and that's when, like, some character development Word. happened on Zenitsu and Inasuke a little bit with, like, powering through the training and learning the full focus breath. But then, True. I think they're... But it seems like nowadays they're kind of, mm-hmm. like, more like you rapidly evolve, miss, like, the hardest battle of your life and push back to your limits like they do mm-hmm. kind of... Like, Black Clover does the same thing. Right. Yeah, exactly. But I think it's I think they're trying to push Inasuke into a big character development, like major character arc. Cause I th- I'm down. I think that's what's they're like. Cause here's the he's thing. been he's been kind of a gag character. Exactly. He's definitely the least developed between Zenitsu. Uh, Even Zenitsu Tandro. hasn't developed like he's gotten a little bit better, Zenitsu's but he's still a crybaby, and he's low. still like. Yeah, it's still lowered, but I mean his backstory is pretty I simple. Think, like he was a trainee of the Lightning Pillar, like, and then his other like disciple guy betrayed and became a demon. Like that's pretty yeah clear cut, right? It's pretty. Where, it's interesting I mean, also because I think Inasuka is going to get some forced care development because what's going on is he's kind of put like removed himself from like the human category. I don't think he considers himself oh? like a human. In the same sense as everyone else. Well, yeah, he was raised by boars, right. so he kind of relates and more now to boars the, like, than people. He's always been like, oh, I don't have a mother. And, like, we see that Tondra's like, everyone mm-hmm. has a mother. And he's just like, I didn't. And then, like, now, like, he's kind of being mm-hmm. forced into a more humanized role. Oh, yeah. So I think that's sure. going to do some character arcing on him soon. But I don't know when they're going to have time I, to talk I, about I, it. <laughs> I definitely like to see Zenitsu and Inosuke get some uh, more. Inosuke get freaking beefy. I would. Well, I would they like were to see dude. Really Zenitsu cool was stuff. getting pretty ripped. At- Zenitsu is very cool. His moves are all very flashy. He was getting pretty Inosuke's ripped. Are pretty though, cool. in the training sequence. Like they yeah. were getting pretty crazy. But you know, I, like I, I, it would be cool to like see some marks show up. Maybe. Yeah, I would. Although that, would be- that might not be. I mean, it'd be kind of sad. It seems like only apparently whoever manifests pillars. the mark dies, yeah. except Sunbreath. So users? far, or maybe just the original Sunbreath user. It's yeah. So, so so far, jadly. yeah. Everyone who's manifested the mark has died before. What was it? Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Which is interesting, and it's the the rock pillar is twenty seven. Mm-hmm. Um. So I have no clue what implementation. So that yeah, is it like? Yeah, because like Moon Moon One said, you're gonna die tonight because you manifested this past twenty five. So like your body's not gonna be able to like keep this up. Although, uh, Rock Pillar has also is like canonically the like strongest body of all the Demon Hunters. Like his body is very yeah like strong. Mm. Um, well, like even well, yeah. I think he's up there with. I think the Love Pillar could give him like is up there too with strongest body. But that's de- that's yeah, a debate. But I think he he's he's he, definitely I think he's probably higher. Mm, th- yeah, once again, it's debatable. I think she's you might more be flexible, right. Flexible, probably. No, but, but they talked about she's eight times stronger than a normal man. Yeah, but like Rock Builder, just like without training, like literally is like like just beat tons of. Demons. Yeah, I think she's number two. I think Love Pillar's orphanage. number two, probably. Oh yeah, sure. Anyway, but, I, I give it that. Yeah. But I think Rock Pillar is by far the strongest. Um, and I think that's like they've literally stated mm-hmm. that in the manga, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember that, but it's possible. Not trying to diss Love Pillar. But... Yeah. Let's see. And he's also got like those big, heavy ball chains that he's just whipping around. Like, exactly. Nothing. Yeah. He doesn't have a katana, <laughs> which is very interesting. Yeah. Um, oh, it, it's nice to have a little bit of variety. You know, variety yeah okay like that's why genya was so cool because he was like a non-breath user and he had a gun like... <laughs> yeah he just had a gun 
<laughs> That's a moment. Yeah, it was very cool. Also, dude, when it's always like in Harry Potter when they're fighting uh, Voldemort, dude, it's like why doesn't Hagrid? It was pull super out the cool when the Wind Pillar was like pulling out like Genya's <laughs> gun and his sword and was like for, like he was doing all right for a sec, but like oh, the yeah. Still Pillar one was able to dodge a lot of it. It was interesting that like Genya was able to put his blood demon arts that he inherited from the other moons into his and bullets. shoot them into bo- Moon One and like yeah, it was cool. Yeah, that was. Very that was interesting. Cool. And it was interesting that Gen- Genyu could hear Muzan. Yeah. I don't know yeah, so it what definitely, implementations like, he was, like, that's going to have. I thought that was going to be a bigger thing. I thought they were going to like use that to like figure out where mm-hmm. Muzan is almost. Um, I mean, yeah. So like, it seems like it's like... The fact that he died makes me think that, like, they just put that there to, like, remind us that Muzan is still existing. <laughs> well, they also had, like... <laughs> like, and that's still, like, the central plot, because, like... Uh, yeah. Anyway. You know, we haven't seen Muzan for a while, because we've been... We've been going all over the place. Um, let's see. What's what's happening right now in the story? So, we have uh, Giyu and Tanjiro are heading to Muzan. Um, yes. They Inosuke, just up their wounds. And I can't remember her name. Chick who doesn't can, cry, can, who did. Canon? The one who freaking went eye, like blood eye mode. She, uh, yeah. they are... Now she's blind in one of her eyes. Mm, possibly, apparently. probably. Or maybe. Maybe. She said so. it's really hard to see out of her right eye, so I don't know if it's going to be blind or if she's... So she could potentially heal it, Potentially. who knows. Then... She's going to fight Muzan. They're so. going to fight Muzan right now, too? I think so. I and know. They might not be doing Zenitsu... I, I, I don't know why they Zenitsu wouldn't. is like really hurt and he's getting carried around um oh yeah who's carrying him who's got zenitsu it was like the demon it was uh you know tamio or tameo the demon who's the now like the medicine lady the doctor oh yeah her like boyfriend guy like dressed up as a demon hunter and like is going around like helping yeah she created him yeah like so he's the only demon not created by yeah so he picked up uh zenitsu with his like squad of like demons like mini demon slayers like not the pillars but just like guys Mm -hmm. and they're like taking him around and then right now we have snake and love are fighting the new five Mm -hmm. like the lady the lady with the that can control this entire tower and stuff Yes. They're fighting her. Which is also Black Clover. And that, who did that hit? Who was the Rock Pillar? The Rock Pillar was with someone. I guess it's kind of a common power sometimes. Uh, he was with another what? pillar. The Rock Pillar? The Rock Pillar was running to fight oh, Muzan. Word. He was with uh, another guy, and the other guy gets hit by a wall, and the Rock Pillar keeps going. Oh, man. You know who I'm talking about? I don't remember. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember that. Was it Wind? I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. I don't think let so. Me, let me p- see if I can pull that up. I'm trying to see, like, exactly Man, chapter at? what... Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. It was yeah, before... I'm just going to look up all the pillars, see if I can re- recall. It was before the fight with one... I just searched ones... pillars, and it's just showing me, like, ran- random, sh- like, Greek pillars. Yep. Like, oh, yeah, that's not going to work. I forgot we had, like, a whole uh... chapter of just Moon One's backstory. Man, this is still showing me all the old pillars. Lol. <laughs> Rengoku-san! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Rengoku-san pillar? Rip. Rip. Well, this, the sound Jack pillar's not Burns, dead, though. Guys. Yeah, Which was interesting. Though. Is he dead? Because uh, if you remember... I don't recall. It's been a long time He was sitting with Red Goku those. talking about the new leader of the Demon Hunters. It might have been the... No, it was sound. It might have been, like, the love pillar or something. I don't think it was sound. I don't was recall Was sitting with Ren Goku? There. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you were talking about who got hit by the... No, tower. no. He was sitting with Rengoku talking about the... Uh... Man, where was that? I'm still scrolling back, Doug. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Here, let me I'm see if I can go to... faster. Okay, it was probably... 169, maybe? Maybe. No, it was be- before that. Oh my goodness, how long was the battle with Moon 1? <laughs> oh my gosh. It was freaking crazy yeah. long. Maybe 165? Nope, still fighting Moon 1 and 165. Oh, this is the beginning, though. Okay, yeah, so, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, it was missed. Oh, so I guess he just caught up. Yeah, so... We- well, that was a whole tangent. We'll just cut Oh, that no, up, so Mist gets know. hit, 
by a tower and gets pushed into the room with uh moon oh, one yeah. before rock oh, pillar yeah. gets there so he gets like pushed forward so that moon one doesn't have to fight them both at the same time and he kind of immobilizes moon or the mist pillar or taquito before rock shows up word Oh yeah, and Takedo during that fight also showed a different technique that we haven't really seen, which was like the uh, the like turning his blade red, which like limited the demon's amount of abilities and stuff. Well, didn't they all cool. do that? Like I Tan- thought they mentioned no, it was just Takedo. It was just Takedo. Oh, but that was a thing yeah, Tanjiro had done in the past, right? Had he? I don't think so. I don't recall that ever happening with Tanjiro. Mm. Tanjiro was able to like. He's able. He's just been mastering all the sunbreath stuff. His was on basically. fire for a while, but anyway, because uh... Nezuko would like put her blood on it and then light it on fire. Anyway. Oh word. But yeah. Anyway, Nezuko needs to come back, bro. We need more of Nezuko. Please. She's with uh, Water Pillar. She's been old, irrelevant. She's with Odd chapters. Water, Old Water Pillar. They're trying to see if she's gonna. They gave her the medicine that turns her human mm. again, supposedly, oh, yeah. and they gave it to Muzan. And yeah. uh, he's trying to get it out of him. Like I'm, he's he's trying to resist it. Anyway, Word. any any other comments for this chapter? We're we gonna call this a wrap for for episode one. I, I think this is pretty much all we got. I, you know, we just kind of low key covered a lot. You know, maybe like twenty chapters in that one chapter. But you know, now we're now we're. Uh, we're cooking with now grease. We're on to the, now we're cooking with grease. We're going to be releasing this weekly, hopefully. That's the plan. Uh, next one should be coming out Monday. Mm-hmm. So in like a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which will be cool. Uh, or Tuesday, if I uh, fail to edit it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, you'll find out. And, uh, yeah, word. Uh, Tune in cool. uh, for the next uh, episode of... Yeah. Uh, Demon Slayer 180. Demon Slayer 180. I'm assuming. Baby. I'm I'm expecting. Here's my expectations for next chapter. That's assuming it comes out on uh, Sunday. I don't remember yeah. if it's anyway. on like a week hiatus or anything. You'll you'll know. Yeah. Once it comes out, we'll we'll put another video up. The, my expectations for the next episode or next chapter. Um, I think we're gonna get. Snake and Love versus Moon Five. That is my yeah. expectation. They gotta wrap that up. Come yeah, on, man. <laughs> and I think that's gonna take a couple chapters, maybe one or two. Um, yeah, and then it's probably gonna yeah, be it's a long time. It's gonna. Be I think like, it's gonna be straight to Muzan at that point. Yeah, yeah, and it's like okay, once they fight Muzan, I was talking about with Harrison about mm-hmm. this before. Like, where do we go after that? Like, so. There's, like, two options we can go, right? Like, either Muzan, like, escapes, which is kind of unsatisfying. Especially for this kind I of mean, a build-up where we're, like, final, like, we're in the enemy fortress. We fought yeah, all yeah, of his yeah, bodyguards. Yeah. Leader of the pillar, uh, leader of the demon hunters blows himself up yeah. to, like, capture Muzan, all this kind of stuff. Like, mm-hmm. it'll be so unsatisfying if he just escapes. Um, they could, like, keep the tension running by having him kill a bunch of people and then escape. That could maybe be good, or like he gets like a hostage yeah. of like a important He's character. He's not even close to Nezuko do... right now, and all the main demons that could have a chance at beating the former Water Pillar aren't around. They're all in the fortress and pretty much dead. So like, if any like l- r- low ranked normal demon goes to f- get Nezuko, they're not gonna survive because former Water Pillar guy's there. Right. Was it confirmed that he's then... the former Water Pillar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it is. I, I, I mean, at the very least, he was probably the level of a pillar. Like he's been training mm-hmm. water. Anyway, w- pretty sure he was a water pillar. Any? Do you um, have any? And then also, Sorry. like, so they could either do that or they defeat Muzan. And like, if they defeat Muzan, like, what's the plot anymore? Like, it's all like, if he's gone, there's like no more demons, right? So like, well, not. And we've like theoretically got a cure. Potentially be more demons maybe because and we've if got a someone cure? finds the blue spider lily they can make more demons what's the blue spider lily again that I'm is totally the thing that muzan's about. been trying to get the whole like past 300 years it is what turned him into oh. a demon in the first place so he also had a disease 
I think it's similar to the one that the leader of the Demon Slayers has. And uh... the doctor gave him a medicine that turned him into a demon. Um, oh, I totally and it's the blue, this. And it's I made totally of the blue spider this. lily. And literally, Muzan has been researching and having his pillars search like crazy because he killed this doctor. Yeah, so yeah. no one knows if it exists or where it is. The doctor knew where they were, but that's how the f- Muzan was created. <laughs> <laughs> um, or turned into a demon in the first place. So if someone gets their hands on a blue spider lily, they can potentially remake the demons. Mm-mm. Yeah, for sure. So that is that is a tension. So, okay. Yeah, so I guess that does open up like a uh, potential second further well, it would story also be, and stuff if Muzan if is Muzan's defeated. killed I'd like to see like a 10 years later thing where we see like adult Tanjiro settling down but still like a freaking bad A and then he mm-hmm. has to like this like a, a demon just like appears again and no one knows like they thought they were all yeah, dead that'd be cool. and then it's like oh shoot but anyway um do you have any other expect like hypotheses for next episode or next chapter yeah i i I definitely think you're right on the money with them just fighting upper moon five i think that's coming right away that or we'll like get some like sidetrack to like what zenitsu is doing or like i could see them like well okay i could see them fighting upper moon five and then maybe they like mention what inosuke and uh zenitsu like what they're doing Mm -hmm. or where they're at but I mean, it's not, you know, it's not unusual for them to just kind of disappear for your few chapters. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I think I uh, that pretty much wraps up for camp. today. Uh, stay spicy, boys. Word. Stay spicy. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Peace. We'll see if it's uh, 50 minutes long or whatever. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool.